There are many limitations on our work. In fact, limitations defines a lot of what we do. So first of all, there are political limitations. Um, actually, we operate underground. Uh, the regime say that we don't exist. Um, this means that we can't perform in a normal theatre. Our premises are actually a converted garage. Um, so it's very limited in terms of the set, in terms of the number of parts, the audience members who can come. Uh, we don't have a load of props or costumes, but then that forces us to have different methods of communicating. And it's actually a very intimate experience for the uh, audience member because you're so close to the, the, the actors. But it has economic uh, limitations on us as well. We can't charge for tickets. This would be a crime. So actually we're entirely dependent on donations, grants, and on international touring as well. There's not a single member of our ensemble that hasn't been arrested at some point, either th for their association with Belarus Free Theatre or for their civic activism um, outside the theatre. And the fact that our artistic directors are political exiles, refugees in the UK, but the rest of the ensemble is still in Minsk. Of course this uh, poses a challenge, but with the wonders of modern technology it's still possible to communicate, to direct a play via Skype. Uh, that indeed requires a very special relationship between the directors and the actors and within the ensemble itself. So yes, there are limitations, but uh, the ways in which we're forced to overcome the limitations um, gives a, a, a very special uh, flavor to our work. We are a free democratic country. We have some corruption. We have, you know, uh, some uh, protégés and, 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 and so on. But we do not have a regime that, you know, uh, we, we do not feel threatened that we can get arrested for what we talk. We do not, we, uh, we, we do everything by the law and they have no excuses, you know, to harm us. Uh, but we talk about a bit about uh, I don't know, Russia and and, and uh, that dictatorship, and I would be uncomfortable to travel there. <laughs>